We're gonna be heading out of town soon to visit with my wife's family, and unfortunately, where they live, there's not much available in terms of data connectivity. Cell phones work okay out there. They don't have any home internet connection, so we have to rely entirely upon that cellular data. My phone plan does not offer tethering. My secondary line, my T-Mobile line, has a certain amount, but it's super small. So when I saw this deal pop up over on Slick Deals, I had to give it a shot. Freedom Pop had the Netgear Fuse refurbished or recertified wireless hotspot available with 12 gigs of data, the two gig plan plus 10 gigs free for 20 bucks. And I had to say yes. Now, if you're not familiar with it, I'm very little familiar with it. Freedom Pop is now a Sprint carrier. I think they may have been T-Mobile in the past. Maybe I'm wrong there. They're all Sprint at this point. So their coverage map actually looks a lot better than it used to. And here in front of me, I have this package that has the wireless hotspot inside of it. So if you were to order one of these of your very own, if you tried it out, this package is what you would get. So there is the hotspot. It says Sprint MiFi, Novatel Wireless on the back. This was actually supposed to be a Netgear Fuse. I'm a little confused by that. As long as it does LTE, I'm not really that concerned. Came with a little Kyocera branded USB charging adapter, five volt, one amp USB wall plug, a little quick connect guide, 90 day limited warranty for a certified pre-owned device, and a warning saying this product may contain a chemical known to cause cancer. Good job. As well as a micro USB charging cable. Taking a little bit of a closer look at the device itself though. Power button, OK button, display, left and right buttons. The back does come off. And here's the battery underneath. And the SIM card is pre-installed down there. And interestingly enough, you can see there it says Novatel Wireless MiFi 500 LTE. And down here it does mention Qualcomm 3G and 4G. The hotspot I was supposed to be receiving was supposed to be a 4G LTE only, meaning if you ended up in a place where you didn't have 4G LTE connectivity, you wouldn't have any data. So if this is what got swapped out for it, I'm actually kind of okay with that. And because I did completely forget to mention it there, micro USB port here on the side, so you can always charge it back up. Now in terms of power, it does appear to have power out of the box, so that's kind of good. Got a little LED light I didn't see here before. That must be the status indicator. And as soon as it came up, it says here, use the following information to connect a device to this MiFi. And you've got the Wi-Fi name and password on there. It also says you can find this information under Wi-Fi in the menu. So now that it's come up, it says Sprint Spark LTE. You can see the battery indicator up here and the network connectivity status up here. Go into menu. There's the Wi-Fi settings. There's home information. There's back to home. WPS, if you don't want to actually put the password in or anything, you can do WPS with it. Under about, you've got information, some specifics about this device, software updates. It says the last time it checked for an update was in 2015, so uh, we may want to check now just to see. And while it's doing that, let me go ahead and mention, I'm not a Freedom Pop affiliate or anything. I'm not getting paid to do this. I saw a deal over on Slick Deals for about 20 bucks to get this hotspot as well as 12 gigs of data. After the first month is up, I will most likely be dropping it from 12 gigs down to free, which means I get 500 megs of data a month for free. It's gonna cost me, I think, five bucks to drop the plan. But still, to have that available, something that I can always just come back to, I thought it was worth a shot. And it's powering itself down for some reason. Maybe it did a software update, because it's coming back up now. I think that's the same software version as earlier. I'll check later and make sure. Under mobile network, it shows the technology's LTE on Sprint's network, and there's the signal strength. And it says LTE preferred, selected network, set as preferred, 3G only. I want LTE preferred. Connected devices, you can see if there's anything connected, and then just back to Wi-Fi settings. So overall, relatively straightforward, not a whole lot to the device. From my phone, I do have Freedom Pop available as a Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna put the password in, it should be joining it. And you can see up here now it does say one, so there's one device connected, and it mentions Jordan's iPhone 7, so that is working as expected, I think. And just to give it a quick test, just running a speed test here, we'll see. It looks like the, the connectivity has actually gone down quite a bit, so I'm not really sure how the coverage is gonna be on this. Ping is not bad. Download speeds could be better, but again, we have very low signal here for some reason, but still a consistent four or five megabits is not bad, and over five, six megabits a second upload. That's faster than I've got at home, I hate to say it, but all in all, not entirely terrible, and for 20 bucks, at the end of the day, I come out of this with a device that is capable of doing a 4G hotspot wherever there is Sprint connectivity, so I thought it was worth a shot. So I'll put a link to where you can find this deal down in the description if you're interested in checking it out. I'll just, I'll put a link to Slick Deals and you can see the post and everything over there. Freedom Pop is a member of the Slick Deals forum, so you can just, if you have questions or comments or anything, there's a person there that is monitoring it and does reply. I haven't talked to them yet, but I thought it was an interesting option. So leave a like down below if you like this. Subscribe to the channel to get all the videos I make as soon as they become available. We'll see you again next time.